Hi guys, Matt from Fanatics here. We got another order to unbox. We're going to try this in a little different location today, see how the acoustics treat us. First thing we have here is big fish. Oh, pike. This is a Ornico, or excuse me, a Doppo red pike. Let's see if we can get a good look at him. He's huge. Beautiful fish. Got one of these last year. It was about half that size, so that's a really nice looking large pike cichlid. Next thing up is the opposite of the large. These are Epsi Resboras. Epsis are the pork chops. We got three different types of uh, slash Resboras to, to share with you guys this week. Come in three different varieties. Well, it's probably more varieties than that. Here's something we've been having trouble with. This is your fruity colors, your glow Daniels. We've got a bad batch of those a couple weeks back, and some of you guys have been being patient with us as we've been waiting for those to come around. Uh, kind of gave up on them, and yeah, we got new ones. Oh, here's some more of those hits we were talking about. These are your standard Raspora hit. We have one more coming. That's the narrow wedge version. So there's three different types of those guys. Uh, oh, hey, here's something we've been having a hard time getting. Reticulated Hillstream loaches. Nice batch of these guys. Got a couple different types of Hillstream loaches on this order and in stock right now. The reticulate has been crazy popular. One blood red parrot. Hopefully that's one of six. Or we're going to be a little short stock on those this week. Let's see if they sent us more. Yeah, it looks like, nope, we get one. Yeah, sometimes that's how it goes. Uh, here we have the war frogs. Dwarf frogs are a perennial favorite around here. You can do them in your community tank as long as they get food. Uh, next thing up is, oh, nice slice. These are vampire shrimp. Not huge, but not tiny. These guys can get up to six inches, and we've had them six inches. These guys are in the three inch range. Looks like some of them are a little bit shorter than that, but nice looking shrimp. And next thing up is a Sid Monkey Loach. These are the dwarf chain loaches. Huge fan of these guys. Great snail patrol, good in your community tank. Uh, they don't outgrow and they don't get too aggressive. So if you do uh, a nice little group of those guys to take care of snails in your tank, that is a good choice. I'm going to roll through and do another box here, see if Barry's arms can take it. Next thing up is some Rummy Nose Tetros. Looks like most of those guys look pretty good. One of those guys looking a little sad. Rummy Nose, of course, are an awesome community fish. Uh, let's see, Kubatais. These are neon green rasboras. Get mixed up with the emerald green rasbora sometimes, but uh, very neat little nano fish, about an inch max on those lime green color. Kind of look like a neon tetra. Uh, here's something completely different. These are compressus up cichlid. This is the Malawian eye biter. These guys get, oh, 10 inches ish. Big. Always get blue, real pretty. Uh, First call them my eye body because they could put a big jaw on them. Looks like we take an eye. Here's a mono shrimp. Got a special order on a mono shrimp this week, so we picked up an extra 25 of those for some people. We do do quantity discount. Blood red parrot. We do have more of those guys hiding in here. So they aren't going to be as short and stacked on those as I thought they might be. Uh meet Cory. These are Cory uh and say it when I came in here. Let's see if I can read it. Ambicus. Ambicus Cory. Nice little hooded Cory with spots. Pretty little guys. Uh, here's a whole bunch of mystery snails. Nice size on those guys. Now my arm's getting tired from holding up bags. Next thing up we have Aspidorus. Oh, Caradiatus. This is those six raid Aspidorus. We sold out of those last week. Super, super cool little Aspidorus. If you didn't get a chance on those, here's another chance they are really nice little Aspidorus for a great price. Uh, another quarry, these are Sturvy Quarries. Warm water quarry, which is kind of unusual for you quarry guys. Nice uh, orange pelvic fins. Uh, very, very nice little quarry cat. And the last thing is more quarries. Imagine. I ordered quarries. These are one of the bandit quarries. These are the Millennies. Both types of animal in stock right now. And that's it for these two boxes.
All right, here we go with another set. I'll try these again with the dual box. We're going to bust this out quick before somebody comes in. First thing out of this bag is Neon Tetras. Nice group of 50 Neon Tetras. A large Neon still on the $2. Buy four more, get 25% off special. Super good price on Rory Fish. Corydoras herborosus. Of course, i got to have more quarries. These are the Dainty Quarries. I've been able to get those recently, so we're keeping a great sock on them. Only get about an inch. Very nice little nano fish. One more blood parrot. They're going to be in several boxes. Oh, here's another one. Discus. These are two inches. Nice size on those guys. Looking great. You want a special order dish? Let me know. We love doing special orders. This is a red turquoise special order two inch discus. Again, great size on these guys. Been coming in really nice under special order discus. Here's something that I was pretty excited to look at. This is an L114 uh, leopard. Of these guys. Okay, listed out at three inches, eh, I'd say two and a half inches, but still very nice fish. A little more expensive than the little ones come in, but nice looking guy. They're on their way to about 10, 12 inches on those. Uh, here's some Pseudotrophius ACI. These are African cichlid, they're Malawian. Just stocked up a few Malawians this week, getting ready. We've got all the tanks cycling right now for our new African section. Uh, brought in some angels. These are a little more specialized, the pearl scale marbles. We'll see what those guys look like in the tank. Nice and marble. We'll see how pearly scale they look. And last thing, this part of this box, we get those money rainbows. Good color on these guys. Not particularly large, but nice color, uh, which is good because we paid a little more for those for that color. Hopefully, it'll be worth that. Next part of this box, we have. Big bags. This is Roseline Sharks. Baby Roseline Sharks. Not too small on them. Hey, they're all excited and hop in there. Now, I've been selling a ton of Roseline Sharks lately, and why not? They're one of my favorite fish. Everybody should have a school of Roseline Sharks. Uh, green Neon Tetras. Not the Neon Green Raspora, but the Green Neon Tetras. I got to looking around here, and I don't think we had any, so there we go. We got Green Neons for sure now. Next thing is Sunset Honey Dwarf Grammys, another very fun little fish. No reason to ever be all on those because they are very fun, very nice little community fish. Uh, next up is a Geophagus alabalios. Uh, I was expecting Cernimensis, so I assume that these are a version of the Geophagus Cernimensis, which is the red striped bird. Uh, these are the narrow wedge Drasboras. I told you there was a third type. The Epsies are the pork chops, and then these guys are the narrow wedge and then the standard uh, Raspora head. All of which are great little nano-ish community fish. These are Brazilian cardinals, of all things. Looks like one of them did make the trip, but for the most part, nice good size on these cardinals. We're staying with our $3 cardinal special, along with the bite. Four more get 25% off. I see one guy all by himself. Any bitty guy. This is a baby ornate biker. Really dark on that guy. Really pretty. Hopefully he uh, does pretty well for us. A little sensitive when they're that size, but uh, he looks like he's feisty. Uh, here we tried another group of female guppies. Hopefully we'll do better than the last group that we did on these guys. Female guppies just an assorted back. A bunch of them. Hard time getting this. And that's it for this second set. Alrighty, here we go. Let's see if we got in this little box. First thing up here is shrimp. Yep, a mono shrimp. We've been doubling up on our mono order, and like I said, we had a special order this week. Sorry to mention that we do a discount. We're offering 25% off a uh, quantity special order. Uh, let's see. These guys isn't going to make the trip, but these are the long fin blue eyed albino bushy nose plecos. 
forward six of them. Looks like some of them really didn't make the trip on this one. But I'll get some of those cleaned up and ready for this week. Next thing is some Calico Swordtails. Sold out of those last week, so I picked up some more. I've been able to get them from this source. They're a little bit small, but they're more like the same price as regular swords instead of extra. So we've been using them. Um, these are electric blue rams, individually packed, and try to keep them in good shape, which is great. We love our electric blue rams, but they are quite sensitive on shipping and otherwise. So always take extra care when acclimating them. Here is some long fin Serpe Tetras. Sold out of those guys last week, so here's a reboot on those, and that's it for this little box. Okay, here we go again. It's like the last box here. This looks like some pond fish or some pond plants. First thing out is um, hyacinths. So, Put a central pond plant. These are the ones that do the purple flowers, that's the name hyacinth. Uh, great to cover your ponds during the summer. It's a little cooler. Here's another great plant. This is African lace plant. The source has been having some really nice ones. Just unreal looking plant. The way the lacy leaves grow, and they actually grow pretty fast. Uh, super cool bulb plant. Uh, very, very cool. Always happy to have those. And more pond plants. This is the water lettuce. These guys came in small, but they, some of them will actually get pretty good size. Ends here, but uh, that'll get this big and then I'll shoot babies like crazy. Great to cover your ponds, it's a nice floating pond plant. Uh, individual banded sharks. Oh, somebody's asked me about these guys. A little on the small side, but they look nice and fat. I love banded sharks, they're a pond fish, they get up to three feet, live in the Yellow River. Uh, they'll take our cross zone as long as it doesn't get too crazy. Uh, yeah. Half a dozen of those guys. Also got some ghost shrimp in here. Picked up some ghost shrimp last week. Here we got some more. Looks like they're all buried. It's possible actually. Uh, Finding ghost shrimp in your tank is just a little challenging. Got a bracket for here. Here is some pond fish. This looks like large shabunka. So got a couple of different size grades. Our comets this week. We'll have to get that figured out in the ponds. As far as how much on the different uh, size grades, got some bigger fish though. And that's it for this little box before we go. All righty, last box. I'm going to guess we got some more pond fish in here. Let's see what comes flying out at us. Oh, that's not pond fish, that's black worms. Nice big batch of black worms. Came in for you. Next thing up is pond fish. More of the shabunkins. We love our shabunkins. Nice size on those guys. We'll see what the grade is on. And there it is. Feeder comets. I know I ordered feeder guppies and I got feeder comets. Oh, look at that. Uh, we're out of feeder comets too, anyway. We ran out of those. So I guess no feeder guppies this week, but we got feeder comets. That's it for this little one. Right, that's this week's order already ready to ship out to you. I'm going to go ahead and catch up the last two weeks by just taking the highlights out rather than running the whole video through. A lot of duplicates on stuff that we get pretty regular, so I'm going to cut this video down from like over 50 minutes down to something you guys can actually watch. So stay tuned and enjoy. Hi guys, we're back with another bunch of boxes to unbox. I'm going to try to hurry today because we've got a store full of people. Boxes. I've got a whole bunch of dry goods sitting over here. We got so much coming in for you guys. I'm trying to keep up with video to give you an idea of what to look for. With new stuff every day. All right. First thing we have in this box is <laughs> I can't say that. An Atypus Akie. These are the green-bellied gobies. Super excited to get these actually. Uh, not like it's pronounced Latin, but. Uh, Kind of looks like a swim bladder thingy right now, but when they color out, so that's a really neat goby. Not that, that native gobies I didn't think was neat. Uh, but the 
Eustace African cichlids. These are in the haps or uh, big um, peacocks. Remember, Venusas are on the bigger side for Malawian. Beautiful colors, blue faces on the males. All righty, let's get going again here. Oh, more sword tails. These are marigold sword tails. Nice orange guy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there we go again. Uh, L one hundred six is. We got three of these guys. These are the orange seams. Nice size fish and a good price on those guys. Big fan of all plecos, but the L one hundred sixes are uh, under twenty dollars. Nice along the board. Uh, zigzag eels. I saw one tail sticking out of the tank, so I think we still have maybe a couple of those. But uh, always like to have eels. Someone's asking me about peacock eels. I don't know why they haven't been available this year, but they haven't. Uh, but we got six eggs. Um, black ruby barbs. Nice barb. Of course, they look like a tiger barb right now, but they get darker in the body and then that ruddy ruby color on the males. Beautiful barb and a pretty easy going barb, too. Let's see. Orange rabbit snails. Nice. We got lots of snails this week. These guys got a lot of shell erosion, but nice size on them in general. Uh, these, they're calling them orange, but these are more like the yellows. Yellows are great because they're better for your plants anyway. So nice looking snails. Uh, female bettas, I ordered a dozen of these half moon female bettas. They sent me three it looks like. All of them look about the same but very pretty. About six bucks on those, so not particularly expensive. Uh, half moon female bettas. Oh, these are a special order, super cool. This is a leopard disc, it's huge size on these. These are three inches. Um, yeah. Blackos, L128s. I got a couple sizes of 128s this week. Uh, that's the blue phantoms. I think we got green phantoms too. So well, lots of phantoms to check out. Those are the small blue phantoms. These are zipper loaches. It's a small version of a banded coolie. Uh, and they're not just smaller now. They actually stay a little bit smaller than your regular guys. Next one up is a leopard tentacle. A nice size on these guys. Not a bad price either. That's the leopard, excuse me, leopard bush fish. Some people will call those the African leaf fish. A little different than the Asian leaf fish, but in the same family. Close. Uh, Bridget's Rasbora, or the chili Rasbora, as most people know them. Got a nice big batch of these guys. Gotta have chili Rasboras. Perfect little nano fish for all your planted setups. Uh, blue rams, can't be out of those either. Got a little bit low, so here's another nice batch. Pea puffers, another thing that we can't keep in stock. Got a big batch of pea puffers. Very sensitive little fish. Remember, if you're going to take those guys on, they need to be in a bigger tank than you think. Uh, that's my rams. This is Bolivian rams. Wow, those look really nice for Bolivians. Nice fat bellies. Awesome little ram cichlid. And, oh my gosh, these are the Tefe uh, Agassi. Super red pistogrammas. I can spit that out. Man, those, those actually made me uh, exclaim just how bright and beautiful. Oh, wow, big size on these. These are lemon tetras. Lemon tetras, of course, are on the tetra special. More and more, you get 25% off. Uh, that's about twice the size of the last lemons we got. That nice fish when they color up. Uh, next is more plecos. These are the 199s. Sold out of these last week. Brought in three, sold them right away. Those are, they call them the gold zebra. They're, you know, a $30 fish, not a $130 fish, uh, but they're a really nice high pan, relative of the regular zebras that are. Uh, Juliochromus conscriptus gambi. These are a Tanganyikan Juliochromus, uh, if I can say that five times fast. Nice little cylinder cold guys. Uh, Juliochromus. Shell dwellers sold out of these last week. Also, these are the uh, Redfin Catapunctatus, the Neil Lampropogus Catapunctatus, which are, of course, a shell dweller. It's a good price on those guys. Um, Ori Triliniatus, ran out of those again last week. We sell through a ton of Triliniatus Cories, that's, of course, the false Julies, and the Network Cory. Tetras, or we'll call those a candy cane tetra. I have an interesting story about a salesman for a, out of the Bay Area and actually coined that term candy cane tetra and stuck in the industry. Most people refer to them as that. 
these are assorted female bettas. Got all a dozen that are ordered on those guys. And they look real nice. No stress bars in there, but better color variety than last time. Snag those while you can. They're super cheap. Let's see. More of these guys sold out of these last week as well. These are African cichlids, of course, the Sakolify, which are a Malawian African cichlid. Yeah, a lot of bettas. All right, do I go through each one of them and tell you what they are, or do I make you guys come and look at them? So I've been getting uh, behind on getting the videos out. I can't get them out as fast as you guys go through. This is something I've been impossible to get. And I must have missed them on the list last week. They had them. These are elephant nose. Peter's elephant nose. Out of Africa, they've been impossible to get to get about foot. They do okay in a community tank. And they do okay in a school if you have a big tank. But they made a, a big tank or they'll nick each other out. Uh, Norman's Lamp by Kelly. Sold out of those last week. Super cool little Kelly. I was looking at the fin structure on some of those guys displaying it. I almost thought it was different. And L200s, I told you I had those. These are little this time. I almost always get them big, but we were able to get them little. Save a couple bucks for you for an L200, which is a green phantom, I should add. Get a great deal on some great bottle plants. Uh, this order is going to be primarily snails. They have a ton of rabbit snails, and so we got snails. These are blue rabbit snails. Very nice shells of these guys. And next up is more snails. Uh, King Koopas. These are a type of nearite. I always think of them with abalone, the way they have the little ridges on the shell. Really pretty little nearite snail. Um, well, this isn't snails. Let's go ahead and do these real quick. I was able to pick up some cool shrimp. These are a pinto shrimp. Uh, a little on the spendy side, but something different we haven't had in before. Looks like we got a little bit of variability on color there. A very, very interesting German pinto. Uh, next is chopstick snails. I always get these when I can. I think they're really cool. They're a substrate snail and a, got the trumpet shape to them. And they'll get in and they'll turn over your tank just like a, a Malaysian trumpet, but they won't take over your tank like a Malaysian trumpet. So very neat. Larger, but not quite as big as rabbit snail. Uh, Batik Nerites. Let's see how these guys look. We can find one in there or I'll stuck to the side. Uh, nice color on these little batiks. They almost look like they're painted. Like, cross between the spotted and the zebra. The only complaint I have about these is they have a tendency to try to migrate out of the tank, so make sure you have a tight top for them. Um, you think they'd all be the same, but there's lots and lots of different types of nearites. Uh, assassin snail, I told you, and snail nuts. These are dropping out of the privacy bags here. Uh, got a pretty good batch of assassin snails to share with you guys. Um, next thing's up. Crabs. These are the Mandarin crabs. We bought in a pretty good selection of the vampire type crabs, the little guys. These are the Mandarins. And I got another box that shipped in. They shipped in good. They don't really ship in well, but if they did, uh, those are super cool. Also got some designer plants here. I gotta check what the price point's gonna be. But this is packs of flame moss. Six of these packs of black moss, and it looks amazing actually. I'm gonna hold some of that back to propagate, but uh, we'll have uh, flame moss to share because I bought it in bulk. And then we also bought some cups. This is the one to grow live aquatic plants. Uh, and we brought in a couple of these to test whether or not we liked it, and they're awesome. Um, this is a hemianthus looks amazing. I think these run like 10 bucks a cup ish, so they're not cheap, but uh, it's super cool. I think I got some Rickia in here. Uh, Ultra Claria Gramifolia. Neat moss. Wow, that's really pretty. Really looks good too. That's done in a sealed cup. Uh, taxophilium, another cool moss. I am like obsessed with moss. We bought enough to share on these this time. We got about a half a dozen each of these. That's why they need this. Uh, crabs. A 
lots of crabs. These are the disco vampires. Oh wow, bright red on those guys. That looks like a little different than I expect on a disco vampire, but very cool. This is panda crabs. Those are cute, little. Sorry, I'm, I just got to see them before I let you guys see them. <laughs> I should let you see them and then you know, look at them in my time. Uh, these are the red apples, a little bigger on these guys. This is a red devil crab. Again, the vampire crabs really have a hard time with shipping. Back to, well, these are lobsters, something different altogether. This is a vanilla lobster, sold out uh, the one I had, so we got another one, because I happen to have the opportunity. And I needed, just needed, to see what this actually looks like. This one they're calling a Popola Black Sapphire Lobster. And he does indeed look black. I have to see him out of the bag. Looks like he's got the orange tips on the tail. That is a cool uh, uh, lobster. It's one of the cheer axes. Same with uh, like the Bosmanis and the tigers that we've had in the past. Because, you know, I need more snails. These are golden rabbits, and these are actually the golds, or the oranges. Bright orange mantle. Other than kind of hard on some of your fleshy plants, a very, very cool snail. More rabbits. These are the white spotted twitty. Stuck there. White spotted twitties, that's black body, white spots on them. Very, very cool snail. Nice size of this, huge. Um, these are thorn neurites or horned neurites. We got horned and thorned. These guys, someone's got really good spikes on them. They always come in small in the horned neurites. Um, these are the tricolor horned, I guess, or thorned or horned, whatever. <laughs> that's the ones with the spikes. That's another neurite. I love having lots of neurites to offer. And these are chocolate rabbits. Wow, I wasn't sure what to expect when I said chocolate rabbit. I thought it might be like the cappuccinos, but it's not. They're beige, almost like a Hercules, but they're up and I can see that the foot's like a rabbit. Really, really neat rabbit. I haven't had these before. That's cool. Maybe I'll have to get one of those for my display tank. And last bag on this order, yellow spotted rabbit tails. We had these last time. Really, really nice rabbit. They got the brown foot with the yellow spots on them. Really handsome fish, fish, snail. <laughs> they got a shell, they got the other snail, not a fish. And that's it for this one. They're black emperors. They don't look black at all. They're a little bit small and they're really washed out, but I believe those are black emperors in the making. I had to look at them twice. Next thing up, we have red eye monk tetras. Eyes don't look very red at all. Again, they're pretty washed out. A little bit chilly on this. And these guys don't look blanched at all. These are Chinese algae eaters. Chinese algae eaters, of course, the ones that get big and nasty. Work great in an African cichlid tank. They're actually really great cleaners when they're young. As they get bigger, they're more obnoxious. Uh, another algae eater. These are flying fox. Now, trying to figure out if they're a Siamese algae eater, flying fox, or false flying fox or one of the 18 other species can be hard to discern but those came in as flying fox here we have some snails i think these are spotted neurites but let's see what we got no these are trapdoor snails little japanese trapdoor snails with a nice uh green copper look to them super cool that's part of our pond season here comes the first one and relatively big fish these are five inch koi we didn't bring in any super big koi yet this season. We're just getting our ponds out. I'm going to stretch your legs a little bit before we ramp up too big. Next thing is butterfly koi. Always a little smaller fish on a five inch butterfly koi versus a regular koi because they count the tails when they're doing that five inch thing. We have big, oh no, these are little. These are three inch koi. And the last. This order is part of this order. These are sarasa comets, the red and white sarasas. Nice size, nice color, three inch sarasas. You came in really attractive price. Very excited about those, and that's it for this box.